Hi everyone and welcome back to Mirror Lessons. Uh, today I'm going to show you the new Sony Zeiss 35mm 1.4 lens for the Sony full frame system. It's the third 35mm lens for the system after the Loxia 35 f2 and the Sony Zeiss 35 2.8. As you can see it is quite big. It's actually a very big lens. Uh, we are definitely in a DSLR stanzas here. Thankfully it's not that heavy so I mean at least it doesn't unbalance too much the grip when holding camera and lenses together. Here I have the Sony a7s. The build quality is on par with every other lenses for the system so it's a nice metal finish. It comes with lens hood as well and I mean the lens feels solid. I really like the aperture ring. I wish that Every Sony lenses would have an aperture ring like this. I think it's fantastic to use. Very nice, very precise. You have the full stops marking, but also the one third steps marking. So that's nice as well for really nail your exposure precisely. Uh, another nice thing is that you have this uh, click switch here on and off. And if you switch it off, the aperture ring becomes very smooth without any clicking mechanism, which is something that filmmakers would certainly appreciate. The focus ring is very large, uh, it's uh, focused by wire of course, so uh, it's not as smooth and precise as a mechanical focus ring, but still it's nice to use as like with the other FE lenses, uh, it's precise even when using minor focus, so I guess it works fine. The autofocus is not bad, but there is a little bit of back and forth movement uh, before locking uh, the AF. And make sure to uh, update the firmware of the camera uh, with the 1.20 firmware update because otherwise the autofocus is really slow. During my first outing with the camera, I find that at 1.4 it's already really sharp. Uh, you get some chromatic aberration. Personally, I didn't find a lot of it, but I guess it also depends the kind of shot you're uh, taking and you know what kind of light you have on your subject. Uh, there is some distortion uh, that can be easily corrected with Lightroom, especially Lightroom 6, which has been recently released and has the 45 1.4 profile. When you stop down 5.6, 8, 11, it becomes really sharp, both at the center and the corner. So here there's a very good performance, low sharpness overall. Uh, of course, bokeh is really nice, really smooth, uh, it has the Zeiss look in it. The minimum focus distance is 30 centimeters, so it's not bad. You cannot get macro shot style, but you can get close enough to capture details, uh, which is, can be very interesting as well. It is also a nice lens to use for video, uh, so as I already mentioned, the aperture ring, the de-click mechanism, the nice focus ringers, so they're all elements that makes uh, shooting video easy and pleasant. And of course, here again, as for stills, for video as well, the, the image quality is really, really nice. One thing that I find a little bit disappointing about this lens is that it doesn't include optical stabilization. Uh, considering its size, uh, it's something that I would expect and you don't get stabilization. So unless you are using a Sony A7 Mark II, who, which has uh, built-in sensor stabilization, you don't get any stabilization with the A7S, the A7R or the original A7, which is, again, a little bit disappointing. I mean, overall, it's a very nice lens regarding performance and image quality. It's not perfect. Of course, it is big. And the main reason we often switch for a mirror system because it's smaller, lightweight. Uh, so I guess this is a lens that uh, some photographers will certainly be interested in it. Uh, I guess it's a professional lens, so mainly for events, weddings, and other application where you can really use that fast 1.4 uh, aperture and that kind of image quality. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and make sure to uh, check our website as well and uh, you will find the review of this lens with lots of image samples uh, to check and see you soon.